Welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's Virtual Classroom. Today we are going to learn how mixed numbers relate to improper fractions and also we are going to learn how to convert mixed numbers and improper fractions. First, let's understand what an improper fraction really is. Let's start with a number line. That has whole numbers from 0 to 2. And let's divide the spaces between each number into two equal parts. The green rectangle represents the amount 1 because it covers the space between 0 to 1. While a rectangle this size represents the fractional amount 1 half because it only covers the amount from 0 to the first subdivision which is 1 half. We again add a half to the 1 half we already have. We would get 2 halves. 1 is nothing but 2 by 2 in over here. What is a whole fraction? A whole fraction is any fraction that has the same number on the numerator and the denominator. For example, 3 by 3 and 56 by 56 are whole fractions. Since all whole fractions equal 1, you can replace any whole fraction with 1. Also, you can replace 1 with any whole fraction. As you see on our number line, the two halves combine to cover the same distance as 1. Let's add another half. Now we have 3 by 2. 3 by 2 is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. That means its value is greater than 1. Well, how much greater than 1 is it? On the number line, we have gone past 1 half, which is a proper fraction. So 3 by 2 turns out to be equivalent to 1 and 1 half. In this diagram, it shows about how proper fractions, improper fractions and whole fractions, mixed, fraction, mixed numbers all relate to each other. First, on this side of the number line, we have 3 halves, which is an improper fraction, 3 by 2. But notice how we got it. We added a proper fraction, which is 1 by 2, or 1 half, to a whole fraction, which is 1. But when we added 1 more half, it became 3 by 2 which is an improper fraction. So one way to think of an improper fraction that is that it's a combination of one or more whole numbers, one or ho more whole fractions and a proper fraction. That's helpful because we know that all whole fractions can be simplified to the whole number one. And if we did that, we would get what's shown on the other side of the number line. We would get the combination of the whole number 1 and the proper fraction 1 half. To put it in another way, we would get a mixed number. That's all a mixed number is. It's a sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. It's another way to write an improper fraction. We're going to see how to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. Let's see an example. 3, 2 by 5. 3 is the whole number and 2 by 5 is the proper fraction. To change the mixed number 3, 2 by 5 to an improper fraction, we multiply the denominator with the whole number and add that result to the numerator. So 3 into 5 is 15 and the numerator is 2, so we have 15 plus 2 by 5. We keep the denominator the same. 
So 15 plus 2 is 17 by 5. Let's see another example. 4, 3 by 7. 4 is the whole number and 3 by 7 is the proper fraction. So we have to multiply the numerator, the denominator and the whole number. So 7 into 4 which is 28 plus the numerator which is 3. So 28 plus 3 divided by 7. So 28 plus 3 by 7. 28 plus 3 is 31 by 7. So when we convert the mixed number 4, 3 by 7 to an improper fraction, we get 31 by 7. Now we are going to see how to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. Let's see an example. 15 by 6. Now we are going to going to convert the improper fraction 15 by 6 to a mixed number. In order to do that, we first divide the denominator, the numerator by the denominator. So 6 divided by 15. How many 6 fit in 15? 2. So write 2 and 6 into 2 is 12. And we subtract 15 minus 12, which is 3. So, the quotient, which is 2, is the whole number. And the remainder, which is 3, is the numerator of the fraction part. And the denominator stays the same. So, the whole number is 2. And the numerator part of the fraction is 3. And the denominator stays the same. So, 6. So, 15 by 6, when we convert it to a mixed number, we get 2, 3 by 6. Let's see another example. 20 by 3. We want to convert it to a mixed number. In order to do that, we divide the numerator by the denominator which is 20 by 3. 20 divided by 3. How many 3's fit in 20? 6 3's fit in 20. So 3 into 6 is 18 and when we do 20 minus 18 we get 2. As a reminder, the quotient is the whole number and the reminder which is 2 is the numerator of the fraction part. So the quotient is 6 which is the whole number and the remainder which is 2 is the numerator part of the fraction. And next, and the denominator stays the same which is 3. So when we convert 20 by 3 which is an improper fraction to a mixed number we get 6 2 by 3. Thanks for watching!